I have a 30 by 22 Arches watercolor paper and uh, it's mounted on a, on a plastic board with white tape. And I'm using a big brush like this. Now as far as the colors are concerned, I'm going to tell you as I paint them. I'm going to start with my aqua um, gold and um, I'm just thinking nothing. Now that's hard to say. I'm not thinking of anything in particular as I put the paint on. And um, it's dry. I'm just going to, I'm going to start right here, and that's the gold. It's a beautiful color, and uh, I'm going to come up here a little bit with it. And I don't know when I'm paint, really painting here, but I'm going to take a, a bright rose and uh, add it to this and see. You see, what I want you to understand is what the watercolor does. What it does, you, you watch and see what it does. And um, I like to use uh, the warm colors right now. And I also have a little warm magenta. That's a beautiful color. And I like to add it to others too. I say, how do I know that shape? Why am I doing that shape? I don't know. See, I'm not thinking anything particularly. I'm just putting the watercolor on. I want you to see how it works. Now here's a, a nice shiny orange. See how dark that is? Wow, that has a lot of, of brightness to it. So I'm putting that up here too. And then what I'm going to do, rinse out my brush and start to bring it over like this a little bit. Maybe I'll drop some of it in here because I want to see what it's going to do. When I go, and it's also a heavy color, and I think it's a beautiful color. And um, so I'm putting it on a little thicker than I had on this one here. Now I don't know what this would turn out to be, but right now, you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm just showing you colors right now. Bar, it's to take a sprayer and kind of spray it. Oh, it's, it'll, it'll run down. And you see it's all warm colors. If I want to, like this. Now you see all this is dry paper and some of it's running down like that. But that's okay. I, I don't worry about that. But you see, if you, if you start going in with water and making it lighter and maybe leave you some of the white space. I like to get rid of these right, right at first because if you don't, it, they always show up and you can't hardly get rid of them. And, uh, Looks like, sort of looks like a map, doesn't it? Okay, but um, I'm just showing you uh, the wonders of watercolor and what it does. You see, it runs, it makes it, <coughs> and uh, this is uh, altering blue, and I'm just going to put it over here and see what happens on the yellow. I have to spray it a little bit. Water on here. So these are run. I'm just showing you what you can do with watercolor. Um, sometimes it's good to spray some water on there and then put the paint on. And um, I'm going to put um, the orange up there. This, we're not, we're not going to go over. The heavier you put the paint on, the more when you spray it, the more it runs. See, I'm putting on really heavy right there. And 
Let's see what it does. I go in like this, it hits it harder, makes it run. When you're a beginner, or even if you are, do a lot of watercolor, it's always good to start out like this. So that, uh, I'm going to start up here with some of the yellow gold. Uh, well, actually, what it's done now is mixed with a blue, so I'm going to get a green. And I'm going to show you a pretty green. See how that is? And you put warm colors next, a cool colors next to warm colors, it brings the out this color out better. I'm going to put some green right in there. I'd like to leave some white, but uh, right now I'm not trying to get anything. If I was painting a pitter, picture, I would, I would still go this way, only I would know maybe ahead of time just about where I want the colors. And I'm going to bring in some more of this here, that's ultramarine blue, and gold, and it may have darks and lights, and I'm going to bring this over in here so that it kind of carries through. What about up here? You know, you got to put the colors in different places. They have to, you don't want to see them all one color. Now, isn't that interesting? Now if I spray it, let's see what to do. I'm just not going to spray it much. Just a little tiny bit. But see, it doesn't really run. Now it makes a little dots. But if I go like this, then it will run. If I put more pressure on this, it will run. How much do I want it to run? I'm not sure. I'm I kind of like, I like to have things run because that's when you see what the colors blend together and what they do. I see that's all dry there so it didn't run, but well, now it's running. But right here, I like, so, you know what, you got to be daring. I'm going to put this color over here real heavy because I want, I want it, and this is that yellow blue, and wow, that is a dark one, but I want to spray it and I'll show you what it does. When it goes on dry paper, it will do other things. It will kind of wiggle and squirm and see what I mean? This is a wonder of watercolors, folks. That's what I'm trying to show you. I'm not trying to show you a painting. It could be an abstract, perhaps. But I like this running down here, like this. Like that. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to put some of that dark uh, sailor blue and ultramarine blue together. And um, then I'm going to... I haven't got it heavy enough. I want the real heavy. See how heavy that is? So I want it to run down. I want it to run down from there into the into the yellow. You see the beautiful colors you could get. And I just love all these colors together that I've showed you. Um, I want to do a little bit more of the orange. 